Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Matchbox Resurrection. And today I'm playing with this Majorette Citroen DS. And this is gonna be the fourth video on my French connection. Everything happens in France, in a small town, in the mid-60s to the mid-70s. And this is Viviane. Viviane is Gaston's wife. She works in the hospital and the hospital finally agreed to do a makeover on her ambulance because she's a bit naked. And uh, she needs a good runner to save lives. Viviane has also got a twin brother. His name, Cyril. Cyril works for Madame Beaumont, the undertaker. And he's just bought an old ambulance from the same hospital and he wants to convert it into a hearse. They've got only one rivet on front and a tab on back and I've drilled them out already. And let's have a look. The flags from the front bumper are broken, but I'm not going to use them anyway. The wheels are in good condition. They just need a bit of a clean and maybe touch up with a bit of chrome. And the suspension is the classic major air suspension with a spring and the base is quite solid. As for the interior, I'm going to add some detail because he's got a guy there that so far it looks more like Han Solo frozen in carbonite. The boot or back door, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, is not missing, which is a good thing, even though it's plastic and is a bit crap. As for the windshield, I think I'm gonna use this one for the hearse, if I don't break it before. And uh, as for Cyril, poor guy, it's just falling into pieces. I think I'm gonna use this windshield for the ambulance and uh, I'll have to paint the headlights. Uh, the body, yeah, it's got a bit of dirt inside and no much paint left. And I'll be using some car filler for the hole from the beacon. And I also need to build a new tailgate. The base is okay. Same as the other one, this one is got a bit of roost, but it'll clean up well. And uh, I'll put a bit of paint as well on the wheels. The base again, solid. Probably I'm going to confuse them both, but don't matter if they're the same. And the interior, I need to get rid of Han Solo on this one, because I need to put a coffin. So... A lot of different parts, and I'm gonna have a lot of fun. While the paint stripper is working, I'm gonna do a bit of washing. I'm gonna clean the interiors, the windshields, the wheels, and the rest of the parts.
Before doing anything else, I need to build the tailgate. And this is the original one. And as you can see, it doesn't look very good, does it? So I'm not even going to try to replicate it. And I'm going to make my own. And I'm going to use paper clips again. And the first thing that I need to do is build the frame like I did last week. And to do that, I'm going to use my blacksmith skills that I didn't know I have. So this is the outer frame and as you can see it fits on the hole. It's a bit difficult to show but you get the idea and now I need to build uh, the frame for the window and I'm gonna do exactly the same. Once I've got both frames done, I'm going to glue them on a piece of clear plastic and that will be the back of the door and also the window itself. The glue is dry, as you can see now, and I need to fill that hole, and I'm gonna use milliput. Once the tailgate is dry completely and is solid, I'll have to peel the plastic, because it looks a mess, and change it for a new one. Once everything's dry, I'm just gonna sand it down flat and then I'll peel the plastic, I'll paint the door in black and then I'll put a new clear plastic. I need to make room for the coffin, so I'm gonna flatten it down and get rid of this poor fella. Time to make the coffin now. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a bit of styrene and that is going to be the base of the coffin for now. And also going to use some coffee sticks and that will be the sides and the lid of the coffin. And uh, why am I making a coffin? Well, today the police were chasing a car and the car crashed. She didn't make it. Her name was Nikita Babushka, the beautiful but also lethal Russian spy. And uh, Cyril needs to take her to the airport so she can go back to Russia. As for the driver, he got away with just a broken leg. His name 
was Boris Balaklava, and I'm guessing he was her partner. And uh, Vivian needs to take him to the hospital in her new ambulance. But uh, you will meet him later on. Now I'm just going to add some veneer to the bottom of the coffin so you can't really see the styrene. I know, I get carried away sometimes with little things, but I'm just having a lot of fun. I'm even gonna make the interior and I'm gonna use a bit of toilet paper which is a bit hard to find these days and that will be the padding inside the coffin. I'm gonna be using a bit of transparent brown and that will be the dye for the wood and then I'll use some clear nail polish. I'm also making the wreath, if that's how you call it, and I'm gonna use one of the wires that you use in gardening, and I'm gonna shrink it with a bit of heat. And for the bow, I'm gonna use a bit of Christmas tinsel. Anyway, let's go back to the cars, and I need to get rid of all the casting lines, and I already filled the hole with some milliput, and I need to do a lot of sanding, grinding, and filing, so let's crack on.
I'm gonna get rid of this pillar in the middle for the hearse so you can see the coffin from outside. This is another project that I was doing while my compressor was dying and uh, never mind to say that I had to paint each car three times. And of course I'm gonna be using black for the hearse and white for the ambulance. As for the interiors, I'm just gonna use like a tan color for both. I'm gonna make a vent for the top of the ambulance and I'm gonna use a metal stud, the ones that I use for my leather work and basically I'm just cutting the prongs and then for the bottom bit I'm just using a bit of a pen. It's time to address the windshields now and I'm gonna use the blue one for the ambulance and this one for the hearse. So the first thing that I need to do is get rid of the beacon. As for the blue one, I'm gonna sand the beacon smooth and then I'll be painting it with transparent blue. The windshield has got some lines on the side and I'm gonna get rid of them so everything's flat and shiny and you can see the coffin from outside. After that, I'm just gonna use some outer sole and give it a good polish and then dip in pledge. As for the headlights, 
the blue doesn't work for me so I'm gonna paint them silver and then I'll paint them with transparent yellow As for the yellow ones, I only had to paint the inner part in silver. I'm adding a bit of chrome on both sets of wheels so they look fresh. The front of the car needs to be the same color as the car itself. The only thing that is silver is the bumper itself and the grill. Everything's done now, and let me introduce you to Boris Balaklava. I've painted some detail, and now he's ready to go to the hospital. In the other hand, Nikita wasn't that lucky. Anyway, let's put them back on together. At this stage, you only need one little mistake to ruin your job, like super glue on my finger. I'll have to touch that one up, I'm not painting this car again. I've made some decals, now I'm just gonna put them on the ambulance. This one is printed backwards, so you can't see it on your mirrors when you're driving. I've made some decals for the sides as well, but I think I'm gonna leave these to dry for a bit before putting these ones. So, there's been an incident. Cyril has took Nikita's body to the airport. They've opened it and it was full of rocks. Nikita wasn't there. Maybe she wasn't dead after all. Boris has also disappeared from the hospital and I think 
Madame Beaumont is involved. Do you want to know who Madame Beaumont is? Let me introduce you to Bianca Beaumont. Bianca is the owner of the funeral services and she just bought this Citroen 15 CV. I think I know where she got the money from. She also likes Cyril and she can be very persuasive to the point that Cyril sometimes hides in the coffins. But that is a different story. So, there you go. Black and white, brother and sister, yin and yang. She saves lives, he takes them to the final destination. I've had a lot of fun playing with these two. Vivian is got new decals. Her beacon is shiny again. She's also got a vent on the roof now. New headlights and shiny indicators. Cyril has had a few jobs done as well. He's got new headlights and new side indicators and he's had a pillar removed from the sides so now you can see the coffin. Let's not forget the back door. Yeah, maybe it's not the best in the world. Maybe that's how Nikita escaped. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and all them things that keeps me happy. And I'll see you next week with something else. Have a good day.